Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel so over the course of today it's going to be a lot of like maybe pre-recorded videos um just to be able to update everybody keep updated on myself and i guess keep up up to date on everything that's going around leeds united i mean for the last couple of days i haven't really been bringing out loads of videos because i've obviously uh, been on holiday and then driving back from london and stuff like that so there is quite a lot of to to talk about and one of the things that i want to talk about on today today's video is willie nonto but before we do make sure you like the video uh, comment as well your opinion on the situation are you happy that he's back at leeds united in the first team would you need an apology do you think he should in a sense keep his business on the pitch and then you'll start forgiving him or do you still think he should go so let's get into today's video <laughs> My opinion on the whole situation with Willy Nonto is I, I I'm, I'm someone who is easily um, forgiving. I will forgive someone if they can uh, come out and apologise for their wrongdoing, whether it's uh, towards the club, whether it's to do with anything in general. Um, and I, I personally think if Willy Nonto comes out and officially apologises to the Leeds fans for treating us the way he has, the club the way he has, and I guess trying to force himself away from from Leeds United in general and I don't know about you because I know there's a lot of Leeds fans out there who will still hate him and still want him to go and personally I do if he doesn't apologize and doesn't perform to his standard or in a sense just uses Leeds United as just a, a, a paycheck then I still don't want him to be at the club. But if he comes around and, and, and apologises to us and apologises as a whole and, and performs to his best, then he can be forgiven, you know? And then if we don't go up next season, then maybe we can go on and sell him as well. So I'm hoping and praying that the 49ers will try and invest in the club properly, try and invest in, in good players, quality players to, in a sense, persuade the likes of Willie Nonto and maybe Elon Meslier and Patrick Bamford and anybody else and some uh, Sinistera, Somerville, to stay at the club, you know, because at the moment we're, we, we are a bit of a laughing stock when it comes to players leaving and, and, and treating the uh, club as like like with mugs, you know. But if the 49ers can go out there and be aggressive and, and sign a few players and hopefully sign at least four players before the end of the window, then I think it might entice the, these types of players and Willie Nonto to be like, okay, well, maybe maybe this is going somewhere. Maybe the club's running better and we'll be back in the Premier League next season. So we'll have to wait and see. But the whole situation with his agent as well, I think he, with him having the same agent as uh, Zaniolo and everything that happened in, 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 in Italy, how he, in a sense, tried to force himself away from the club, acting like a baby, just making everything so complicated. I mean, his agent came out and said that the Leeds United board and the Leeds United fans are making everything so complicated for, for Willie Nonto, and that's not true because, end of the day, whether it was Willie Nonto, whether it was the, his agent, what these whispers of like, oh, act up, hand in a transfer request, but do this, do that, that would have come from his agent or that would have come from Willie Nonto himself. Us Leeds United fans, we're so forgiving. We'll give players a chance after chance after chance. But we're not the ones who are forcing you away from the club. We're the ones who are excited to see you at the club. We're the ones who want you to be at the club to help us get back to the Premier League. When you first came in, we were so ecstatic with how well you played and the goals and assists you, in a sense, provide and your, your dynamism. Your athletic is athleticism, athleticism. I don't know, <laughs> but for in a sense, for the agent to come out and blame Leeds United and make, saying that we're the ones making things complicated. If a club doesn't want to sell an asset who is isn't under um, like his circumstances isn't to leave the club, he's still got at the club for four, uh, four or five more years. He doesn't have a release clause in his contract. So the club will look at that and be like, okay, well, we're in control here, not you. We will do the demanding, not you. You know, if he's got a release clause, then fair enough, he can demand it. He can be the one in control. But unfortunately for you and your agent, you can't do anything about it until the, until the 49ers have said, said to themselves, okay, you can leave. Or Daniel Farker doesn't want you in your plans anymore. And then you can leave, you know? So the whole situation uh, surrounding Nonto has just been an absolute mad one. I mean, I've seen from some sort of source, some, I think 
um, some evidence or so whatever saying that they're going to go in one more time. Uh, Joe actually said in his video as well that um, Everton are going to be trying to push maybe one more time to see what happens in the future. Whether they're going to go for £30 million or more, I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. But hey guys, I'm just going to do a quick one on Willie Nonto in the situation. I personally think if he apologises and performs well on the pitch, I think all will be forgiven and then we'll move him on in the near future. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and comment on the video. Peace.